there's something about art making that makes me feel closer to myself. And I think that now I know it makes me feel like kind of like, like I'm home. My name is Dalmarie Hamilton. I'm an artist, a writer, and an independent curator, and we are in New Bedford, Massachusetts. I was born in Spanish Harlem in New York and then grew up in the Bronx. I lived there till I was about nine or so. And my parents split up in the early 1980s. We, my mom, my brothers, and I then moved to Boston. My mom had a bunch of cousins here. Um, my family has roots in Belize and Honduras as well as in the Caribbean. I just recently lo relocated my studio space to New Bedford. I was in East Boston for the last 10 years. When I come into the space, everything looks kind of interesting and urgent all at the same time. Um, so I just sort of follow my instincts, whatever visually happens to grab me that particular day, that's what I start working on. There's almost always more than one project happening at the same time, so maybe a large collage piece or, or um, I may be working on a drawing or developing a performance. So it just kind of varies about in terms of what the deadlines are for that particular day or week or month. My project at the ICA is called The End of Susan, The End of Everything, and it's an homage to my art historian teacher and friend and mentor, Susan Abigail Denker. Uh, she passed away in January of 2016. Um, at that time, I, was, I did not know that she was ill. Her husband had died the summer before. Um, she'd been teaching at the School of the Museum of Fine Arts for decades. She had retired by the time I met her. Um, but when she fell ill and she passed away in 2016, I later then learned that I was named as a beneficiary in her will, which meant that I inherited about 80% of her personal items. It's two storage units worth of books and personal objects and DVDs and VCRs um, and televisions and old computers, but what does that look like in an installation? So. In this particular iteration, it is a, a domestic space or a sort of personal library that's populated with both her books as well as my books, sort of frames and sort of tells her story in a way that we sort of are able to engage both modernism and contemporary art in terms of my own practice of performance, um, but also to sort of thinking about sort of art history itself. How does it tell different stories and how does it shape the way that artists make their work? I'm Susan Denker. The title of my paper today is Jackson Pollock, Two Figurative Alternatives. The video piece that is within that particular um, bookcase is called Jackson Pollock, Two Figurative Alternatives. Um, and in that particular case, it's me pretending to be Susan, wearing her clothes and her glasses, reading her paper. The energy with which this action theory is formulated in relation to Pollock's painting seems to me to raise the question of whether Harold Rosenberg's interest in abstract expressionism was elicited and sustained by the painting or what could be said about the painting. Knowing what I know about how I came to performance via Jackson Pollock and thinking about Susan's own interest in his work, it, it seemed to me that that was a good sort of set of circumstances in terms of how to present that particular part of the installation. In the process of developing the project, I've realized just grappling with grief itself, we don't often have space to talk about those things. And I think in the context of the pandemic, I was thinking that not only am I going through Susan's things and sort of making sense of her um, death, that folks who've lost um, loved ones in the pandemic, they are doing the same thing that I am doing. And so I'm, I hope that the installation itself um, provides a space for people to do that.